Hi everybody, welcome back. Well today I have a spring summer clothing try on haul for you. Um, lots of stuff I have accumulated. And if you follow me on Instagram, which I'm just gonna say right now, I know some of you get tired of hearing that, but it's really important to follow me on Instagram because I post a lot of these things first there. Like maybe as I find them, I'm looking for something. Uh, I'll make a collage, post it on Instagram first. Um, because some of these things are already selling out in sizes. So by the time I order it, get it, steam it, try it on, film the video, edit it. I mean, it may be a week and a half, two weeks later and things are already going quickly. I hear a lot of other people talking about that too. So it's not just me having that problem. So some of these, it's easy for me to just try on quickly and share on Instagram. And that way you can still get your hands on it because I know um, when you share something and it's already out of stock, nobody wants that. So a few of these things are running um, low. However, I did want to say um, I did a Instagram post from a recent trip we did sharing a few of these. So if you saw, uh, again, if you follow me there, you saw I already wore this dress. Um, I did post it on Instagram when I first got it and it's always been in my life to know it. So this is just a beautiful Jay McLaughlin dress. I wore this for one night. Uh, like I said, our trip to the Greenbrier. And then I also wore this pretty Amazon dress, which you may remember this if you saw my recent Amazon dress try on. So those are two things that I've already shared. Let me start with something else I shared um, on Instagram. It's from Rails. Um, I had a hard time tracking it down. And I really like this brand because last year I bought a white dress by this brand and I just loved it, that long one you guys may remember. So I knew I really liked the quality, but this one's a shorter one. It does have a tie, it's eyelet. Um, it has really nice um, elastic at the sleeves. It is lined, but every year I feel like I'm looking for a really nice um, shorter white dress now that I have a long one. And it reminds me of some of my Farm Rio styles that I just really find flattering and I really like them. So let's move on. I'm gonna to try to go through these somewhat quickly um, because I do have so much to share with you. So this is another one that I just really loved, but I am noticing it is already running limited on the sizing. I tried several retailers um, to look for this dress. It is Donna Karen. It is a true shirt dress, um, buttons all the way down. It's a nice, thick, soft cotton, almost like a cotton sateen. Um, it does have the removable tie waist. As you can see um, in the try-on, I would definitely cut these belt loops off because they're white and they stick out. Um, if you didn't notice them, you could leave them, but because they're white, I feel like you see them a little too much. But it is an absolutely gorgeous dress. If they still have your size, this would be beautiful to wear um, to the office in the summer if you can get away with sleeveless um, at work and obviously all kind of other occasions this summer. I just feel like it's a beautiful flowy dress. So I have seen this dress in stores and I had posted that this was one of my first spring dress um, posts I did on Instagram and I can't remember if it was like a spring wedding guest um, it might have already been selling out by then. Again, this is another one that I'm finding a little bit limited, but I did see it in a store. They just didn't have it my size. And I thought, you know what? I really still want to try this on. Um, for those of you who know, we go on cruises a couple times a year. So certain cruise lines, they still have like a more dressy formal night. I thought this would be great. Again, like I just said, it would be a great option for a summer uh, spring summer wedding guest dress. It is a tad long on me. So thankfully it has a nice slit in the front and I can just pull up the one side and then it's easy to walk in. I'm not tripping on it. Um, however, you could probably adjust it a little with shoes. Those are probably about three inch heels I had on with it. Um, but I still found it a tad long, but not anything I couldn't work with. I just thought it was really pretty. It does have this really subtle gold, um, threading in it that you can't really see unless you're up close. I just thought the color was so pretty. It's not all dresses, I promise. <laughs> there are some other things coming up that aren't dresses, but uh, I have been just on a dress kick lately. I've just seen so many pretty ones that it's like, you know, they just come one right after another. Too bad some of these weren't out for my cruise back in March. I had a really hard time finding some new things. So everything's coming out now though. But this one um, surprised me. I'm gonna hold it up like this little, whoops, so you can see. 
This one surprised me. I, again, this is from one of those collages that I posted with the spring dresses. And I thought, you know what? It intrigues me enough that I want to order it. Um, it is so nice. It is Karl Lagerfeld, so it does have his name and a little bit of print everywhere. But I just found this dress so pretty with the black and white. And I felt like you could definitely dress it up or down. So obviously you could just wear it with some neutral or black sandals, a casual straw bag, you know, think strolling around um, certain streets, European cities on a summer vacation. And then you could just easily switch out for some little black heels and a black bag for nighttime. I thought this was definitely one of those dresses that went easily from day to night. It's a very soft cotton. Um, it does have functional buttons, but I'm not sure why you would need them because it does have a zip halfway down. I will try to remember um, in the description box where everything is listed, I will definitely put my sizing and um, this is in a size four. I believe the dress I just showed you was a size four. Yes, the green was a size six. So I'll tell you if I size up or down because I know a lot of you think that's um, helpful if you're around my size or just gauging. I know I find it helpful when people do that. So here is one that I wasn't gonna order, but again, it was listed in probably that same post of the dresses. This is a rayon material, so I feel like it gives it a little bit more elevated feel, so it's not cotton or super beachy, but it would definitely look great on a beach vacation. Um, it is maxi length. It has a little bit of ruching in the back, so there's no zipper or anything. You just put it over your head, but that makes it comfortable right here. Nice wide straps, you can wear a regular bra. This one, I'm in a size small. Again, you could dress this up with heels or wear it with flats. I feel like you could do a few different things, but it would be a great summer vacation dress. Let's just go ahead and get through the dresses and then I'll move on to other things. So this was one, um, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. And I'll tell you a little bit why. The colors are just absolutely beautiful. It has a tie neck in the back. Um, there is a like a half zipper here. And it does have pockets, I believe. Um, and it is completely lined. However, this one is cotton and the lining is cotton. And there's something about that that I feel like, I don't know if I don't like the drape as much or just the cut of the dress overall. I feel like if it was in a different material, um, it would maybe be nicer, at least on me. Um, Again, it may hang totally different, look different on you. As you can see, then I added a belt because I just felt like something about all this pattern, and again, where that waist on, was on me, it was not super flattering. However, I really liked it once I added the belt. So keep that in mind. Um, this may be an option for you as well to add a belt. And again, this is one of those, I feel like you could wear it kind of casual with flats um, or dress it up a little bit with heels. But again, the color is really beautiful. This one I am wearing um, my true size six. I'm usually between a four or six in a dress depending on how it's cut in the material. So this one totally got me from the marketing. When I was on the website, it came up right away and I was like, that is a stunning dress. It's funny because sometimes the way they will market it in the photos, like not just the plain stock photos, or if you hover over something, it'll show like a couple of different views. Sometimes it's that alternate view that totally gets me and I feel like really makes the outfit. So this is a stunning pink dress, various shades of pink. It has the contrast on, um, the straps and the same contrast with the tie belt that is removable. It does have a zipper in the back. It is very pleated. I don't know if you can pick that up because of the pattern, but it has all these like nice wide pleats going on throughout it. Again, an absolutely beautiful dress. It's a lot of dress. Um, I can't remember, I think this came in petite, but I'm not positive. Nice thick, Again, that sateen kind of cotton, kind of like that black and white one, just a nice heavy, nice material. This one I am in a size six as well. It's a little big on me up on the top though. Um, I would like it to fit a little better. I'm not sure if I could size down in this or not. But again, maybe if it came in a petite or something, it might fit better. But I think a lot of it was just a little bit bigger on the top. But again, sometimes I have that problem because I'm more narrow on the top, kind of more pear-shaped. So as we're sitting right here, you've probably seen this in the background. I did not end up trying this on. This is a top from Chico's. I was on the site 
looking at a couple of other things that I will show you because this little flyer totally caught my eye. Two things off the cover that I purchased because I was like sold as soon as I saw it. That's something about Chico's too. If you've never gotten like their catalog or looked at their lookbook online or went into a store, the way they style things might change your mind about the brand. I've worked with them in the past. Sometimes um, seasons I find a lot of things from them that I really like and then some I won't. They're just not my style. But don't discount them because again the way they style things sometimes can totally change your mind. This top I didn't end up trying it on. I ended up getting it in a size US 6 which you know their sizing's um, a little bit different but they usually tell you what the numeric size is. So this is a um, 0.5 um, in a size six. It is way too big. I mean, it looked ridiculous even trying it on, but I just thought the color was beautiful. It's like this raspberry kind of watermelon um, red. It does have like the little Swiss dot buttons all the way down. I thought this would look cute with some white shorts or pants for summer. Uh, nice kind of, I don't know, they were probably about elbow length sleeves. It just, again, it was so big, it wouldn't have even done it justice. But if you wanted to check this out on the site, looks great. Another thing, just like that, I didn't try them on because they were tight, <laughs> um, but these are beautiful linen pants. I might see if I can size up in them. I'm at that stage with the whole perimenopause thing and the hormone fluctuations and trying to get the medication right, like I'm retaining water, um, bloated sometimes off and on. Y'all know how it is if you're around my age. And so I just almost refused to buy a bigger size, um, but some of them, my regular size, are tight. So anyway, I didn't try these on because they were tight, but these are beautiful linen pants, um, just regular inseam, not cropped or anything. I have some cropped ones that I bought earlier this year from J. Crew, but this top would look great with these pants. I mean, it would look good with another top I'm gonna show you as well. So I lied, I have one more dress. So this is the dress that I showed you that I said was on the front cover here, the little flyer, and totally sold me as soon as I saw it. It is a beautiful shirt dress. I'm very into shirt dresses, and they must be very popular because I'm seeing them everywhere. True shirt dress, buttons all the way down, has a um, tie sash, button detail um, at the sleeve. Of course, I rolled them up. It's in a nice, like, um, silky cotton. It is lined. I got it in the size four. So I could have definitely sized down. I don't think it's terribly oversized on me. Um, there's just certain areas I feel like are a little oversized. And I find in a shirt dress, a lot of times I am sizing down. Um, like I told you that Jay McLaughlin, I sized down to an extra small in that. So shirt dresses, I'm finding are running a little large. So something maybe to keep in mind for yourself. But this is an absolutely gorgeous dress. I mean, this would have been perfect for Easter. I don't know if it came out in time for that because um, it is a new release. So I was waiting on this one a little bit longer. That's what kind of held me up with the try on a few days too because this was the last thing I was waiting on. So of course I had to get the pants because you all know, again, say it with me, I love a funky pant. You guys know if you've watched a lot of my videos um, for vacation, summertime, I love just a printed fun pant. I'm just drawn to them. I like pants anyway. I like dresses obviously in certain occasions, but this print, so that's a little bit more of a pastel version of this, but it's a similar print. They have this in several things. So if you don't want the dress or these pants, they had it in a top, um, all kinds of things. So of course I had to try the pants. They are linen. They do have pockets, but they are stitched clothes and I didn't want to open them quite yet. There are some pockets on the back. Uh, very nice, just pull on style. There are no um, zippers or anything. Um, I did have to put on a wedge with them because they're a little long on me. I'm thinking about wearing this on an upcoming trip. Here's the top I have on with it. Um, this is just their linen shirt. I have this in a size six and just tied it at the waist. It has the three quarter sleeves beautiful color. I just really liked that color. You could wear so many different colors with this. I actually have like an orange tank and different colors. Green would look great with this too, that bright green, but I don't know. There's something about this dark uh, purple that I thought just really brought everything out the way exactly that they had it styled. So I'm thinking about wearing this possibly on an upcoming trip. I will film that show you a few outfits. It's just kind of like a long weekend trip. This is probably my absolute favorite 
This um, short set, these are linen shorts with this button down shirt. This shirt I wanna mention real quick is very thin. If you guys have those gingham shirts from J. Crew um, in the 100% cotton, this is exactly like that. I almost wish I would have sized up to a medium because um, I don't think I paid attention that this was 100% cotton. I usually look all through that to know. Um, but it fits well, and I don't necessarily want it oversized, so I'll probably just keep the small, but I love these colors. I don't know if I've told you guys, but I'm really drawn to blue in general. It's probably one of my favorite colors, but blue and green together, I just love. So I wouldn't have picked these out necessarily, except for I was looking at the lookbook on the site, and again, this was one of these I posted like on a new arrivals or something from this website. I'll put that in here so you can see it. And this stopped me in my tracks. I'm like, yep, sold. I mean, so many good things. Again, the way they had it styled there, I didn't see on the actual website. I had to go in and kind of dig at some other things. So this I thought was super cute. This is definitely going with me on our trip. I plan to wear either over a swimsuit for like a beach day um, or like a walking around town day, just casual. Um, with you know flat sandals a bag but then also you could wear this with some white pants or dressy white shorts for evening and it would look great with that as well so the shorts I got in a medium I don't like them to be tight I could probably wear a small normally but since I am up in weight a little bit and water retention and all that and bloating I went with the medium um they are a little bit of a baggier short. They're a five inch inseam. I would have probably liked them to be a four on me personally. I know some people like longer shorts, but I find in something like a linen, I find um, you don't want them too long. So like I said, everything will be linked in the description below along with sizing. Hopefully you guys can still get your hands on these things. Any videos that I spoke about, they'll also be linked. And then stay tuned in the next couple of weeks for that little small vacation outfits too. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found something you liked. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.